Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Mrs. Emily Paints. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this dramatic glam with blue and brown eyeshadow and glitter. We are taking this back to the Jaclyn Hill palette days. Okay guys, so this is the first shade we're going to be using and we're going to be applying this on our crease. But as you guys can see, I'm only putting this on the inner corner up until the middle of my brow. I'm not going to take this any further because we're going to add the other colors as well. And I'm also using a flat brush so it makes it easier for me to just stay in these specific areas. I love this palette you guys. I could never stop using it. I still use it on a lot of my clients. It's one of my favorites. I'm never going to get over this palette. Now I'm going in with a completely clean brush just to blend out the outside of this eyeshadow. As you guys can see, I'm dragging this upwards. It doesn't matter if you touch your brow because the brush is clean. And we only want to get the smallest amount of pigment up there. Please do not grab any more eyeshadow with this clean brush because it's specifically just to blend this area out. You guys, I'm so sorry if you guys can hear people in the background. My neighbors are super, super loud. Like I've said in my other videos, it feels like I'm in a rancho right now because everyone's so loud and doing too much. Anyways, I'm going in with this dark green shade and I'm just going to be blending this with a flat brush as well onto my crease. As you guys can see, using a flat brush helps you stay in those areas specifically so you do not go above onto the other shade. While I blend this eyeshadow color, you guys, let me just ask you if you guys have any, and I mean any colors that you would like for me to work with on any tutorial, please comment down below. I would appreciate it. I do need some content ideas. So I would love it if you guys give me your input on what colors you guys would like to see in my videos. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Italia Deluxe Eyeliner. This is supposed to be waterproof, but it really isn't. <laughs> I still like it though, you guys. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorites. It is the mattest eyeliner I've ever used. So I'm going to be applying this on the outer area of my eye. As you guys can see, we are going to do a very sharp line using our waterline as a guide. If you guys can't do this, please use tape. It makes it easier. Next, we're going to be drawing another line on top right above our crease. If it helps, which I do recommend, use tape. It'll make it so much easier, like I said, you guys. And it doesn't matter if your lines aren't too straight because you are going to see what we're going to do right now. See, we are blending this dark brown shade onto the line above. And this is just the first layer, you guys. Continue to add more layers of this color. You want to be adding little by little because this color can be very, very messy. As you guys can see, mine is looking darker now because I went over it a couple of times. And once you get the dark shade that you want, you go in with this lighter shade of brown and you start blending that right on top. Next, we're going to be taking a fluffy brush and we're going to be using this to blend these eyeshadows out. And as soon as the top is blended, you guys, make sure you grab the other two shades and apply them again. Just because it loses a little bit of color when you blend it out like that. And I'm about to show you guys right now what I'm talking about. It is a whole process, you guys, but trust the process it will look bomb at the end <laughs> see i'm applying the dark shade again and then i'm just going over it this has no product by the way and then i'm just going over it with the lighter brown and then i'm gonna blend that out again and this is what it's looking like i'm using this eye makeup remover liquid with these pointy q-tips to clean out my crease if you guys want to purchase this the link is down below in the description it is from my website I don't sell the makeup remover liquid, <laughs> but I do sell the Q-tips, you guys. You can find the liquid anywhere in a CVS or Walgreens. And we're just going to clean out this area. Honestly, you guys, take your time to do this because it can get very messy very fast. And you can ruin the whole look. As you guys can see, I'm taking out the blue, but I'm only staying in this area because I don't want to take the blue to the other side. Now, after that is taken care of, we are going to be going in with another clean Q-tip. And we're going to be cleaning out this area right here, trying to make it look as sharp as possible. If it helps, use some tape, you guys. I always recommend anyone to use tape because it is the easiest way to draw lines or to clean stuff out like this. And I'm not too worried about the eyeliner line at the bottom because I can simply just go over it again with my eyeliner and it should be fine. But we need to worry about the eyeshadow because if we touch that with the Q-tip, 
we can mess it up and we're gonna have to start all over again remember to comment down below you guys if you have any makeup ideas that you would like for me to try or for me to try any specific colors let me know down below now i'm using the color pop concealer and i'm going to be using this to clean this all the way through just to mark our crease this is going to look so bomb once this is done you guys i usually use a little stick on the concealer but if you guys are not comfortable with that because it's pretty hard make sure you just use a nice flat brush to apply your concealer and clean this area out if you have made it into the video this far please comment the color blue at the bottom so that i know that you're a real one and you're actually watching my tutorials all the way through the real ones know if you know you know <laughs> you guys know i've been doing this for a very very long time where i make you guys comment a keyword so that i know you guys are actually watching now I'm using this shimmery blue shade only on the beginning of my eye area because we are going to be using brown on the other side. I recommend you guys add small amounts of these shimmery shades only because you want it to build up. You don't want it to look all patchy and weird because of the concealer. So build it up as you go. And I'm so sorry if you guys can hear any kids screaming in the background. My neighbors are honestly so annoying next i'm going in with this brown shimmery shade you guys and i'm going to be applying this at the outer corner of this area but as you guys can see i dragged the shimmery shades to the top i just wanted it to kind of connect to the other two shades at the top i don't know if that makes sense to you and i'm just going to be building this up and blending it into the other blue shade next i'm going to be going in with my eyeliner one more time just to line up that little black line that we made and like i said if you guys want you can also use some tape that helps to make the line very very straight and i'm going in with my glue now you guys you can purchase this down in the description the link to my website is down below and we're going to be going in with the pixie blue glitter which is also from my website for the blue side and then for the brown side, we are going to be going in with the brown mellow glitter. Now I'm going to be doing the rest of my makeup off of the screen. And here we go. We have the finishing look, you guys. These lashes, I actually purchased them from Amazon. They're super bomb. I will let you guys know what it's called down below because I don't even know what they're called. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below. If you're a real one, remember, comment the word blue so that I know that you watch this video all the way through. And like always, you guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.